Now for question number 10, part D, of the leaving certificate, we've got uh, 300 runners that take part in a road race, and each runner has a number from 1 to 300 inclusive. No two runners have the same number. So the two runners are picked at random from the runners in this race. We need to work out the probability that the sum of their numbers is 110. So now, first of all, I'd like to find out um, if, let's say, for example, um, um, okay, if we pick one runner from the 300 runners, so that's going to be 1 over 300. Multiply then by the next runner, which is 1 over, because 1 has already been taken from 300, so 299. Okay, so that's the probability we're looking for. Now, remember, if um, we, we can have a pattern here, right? And, and from here, what we see is that if you were to pick the first person having the first number, and uh, that first number, we can see, is 1, and the second person, of course, would be, I mean, the second uh, runner in the race would be having this number here, 100. And we see that 1 plus 100 is 101, because the sum's got to be 100. And one. So the probability of picking the person having number one is one of the 300. And then the probability of picking the next runner having the number 100 is going to be one because he's got, he's the one that's got the 100, the number 100, divided by 299 this time because you've already taken one person um, from the first uh, possibility. That is the first one had number one. The second one would be Again, that one person that now went 299. So again, now let's say the, the runner, <coughs> sorry. Um, or I can have a runner that's got number two, then my next one's gonna be how much? 99, because two plus 99 is 101. So this here is gonna give me a probability of, um, now we see, if the number two here, the person has number two, the runner is, is one of the 300 that that's our chance what is our chance of picking a runner who's got number two is that runner yes over the 300 runners is one out of the 300 then the next one will have this number 99 but this time over 299 because the first one's already been picked in the same way this pattern goes on you can have um, one of the 300 again times one over 299 and this is for let's say you pick one who's got a number 3, then of course the next runner is bound to have a number 98 because 98 plus 3 is 101 and again it's the same probability. Now if you carry on forever like this, all right, you come to a point where you will reach um, 100, the next runner is going to be, uh, the first runner could be a person who's got 100 and then the other one's got 1. So now we've got a hundred, one to a hundred is good. You've got a hundred ways of doing this. And again, we see this is one over 300 times one over two double nine. So how do we work out this probability then? So what we're going to do is we take one over 300 times one over 299. And of course you multiply by a hundred. So if you do that in the calculator, so let's see. And you're bound to get one over eight nine seven. So our final answer is one over eight nine seven. That's the uh, answer in uh, as a fraction in its lowest term. So here we are. That's the first part. I mean, that, that's part D of the question. And take care.